Hi everyone, welcome to module 6, lesson 6.5, our second video. This is comparing a line to a circle. Looking at a line and looking at a circle, we can sort of visualize this. We can see this line going through this circle and we can sort of say, all right, if this line were shifted up on the y-axis, oop, let me scroll back out. I did not mean to zoom in so much. Whoops. So if this line were shifted up on the y-axis, we could potentially see this line not even touching the circle. If it was in just the right spot on the y-axis, maybe it would skim the side of the circle and just touch it in one place. And then as it passes through that circle, it's going to be touching in two places. And we can sort of look at those two points and see where those points lie. And we can say, okay, this line passes through this circle in two locations, and here are their points. Again, we can do the same thing that we did last time and look at um, various parts on that circle and various points on that circle and see we should see an intersection with our table of values at this negative 3 1 and this one right here at 1 3 with our linear equation and if we look at our linear equation we can see that those points are there we can see also those points um, emphasized in the linear equation as well we can see that negative one and negative three one and one three we can see those all showing up on the line as well as in the table um, to now look at um, some other examples we can now see also here is an example of a horizontal line this horizontal line y equals three has always three as its y value. So therefore it doesn't matter what the, or whatever the x is, we'll always get three for the y value. So we can see that it skims the top of that circle at one three. Again, if we looked at the table of that, we would see also this same point. That is also the same point here on the circle. And last but not least, we can look at one other graph where a line doesn't even touch the circle. It's great. So looking at a circle versus a line, we can say there's potential for two solutions, one solution or no solution, much like the line and a parabola. Kind of cool. Great. And so now we are going to have one more video that we are going to look at, and it's going to be about a parabola and a circle. We'll look at those points of intersection, and you'll see that the points of intersection for the parabola and the circle aren't nearly as beautiful as they were for the circle and the line, mainly because I didn't want to put the time and effort in to find a perfect parabola and circle where they matched up nice. However, we can definitely estimate points and it'll be great. Thank you for watching this video and we will watch the next one. Or, and please be sure to watch the next one after that considering they are so short. Thanks for watching. Bye.